This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 instead of DCS. We are going to fly over the Persian Gulf, which is a map that is on DCS. We're not really comparing it, it's just, I don't know, just something to do. Um, and see if it's, you know, how different it looks and stuff like that, how different it performs. We're trying this on multiplayer, I still don't, this is my first time, you know, so I don't know what I'm doing. We've got Ito and Skill here. Say hello, boys. Hello. Now, what bases have we got down here? We've got Oman, Al Dafra. We've got no Oman. Oh, that's the four-digit identifier. We've got Omar, Dubai. We're going to Al Dafra, guys. Al Dafra. Roger. Yeah. Runway three one. Are we go to set departure. What aeroplanes are we having, or, or what, what aeroplane should I have? Ito, what aeroplane are you having? I'm doing a TBM nine. The TBM nine hundred. I'm having this one because it looks pretty balling. Right, wind four knots from two seven zero. I'm going to warn you, there, valued viewers, there may be some complaining going on. I just want to set you in the right mood. There may be some complaining. I just, I just the chance of this working well in any way for me is not high. Just, on the scale of upside down vegan to wreckfest, <laughs> what sort of level? Are you we're, we're probably more the wreckfest way, right? Uh, oh, ready God. to fly. Okay, I've actually got FPS. That's the first problem sorted. Well, I'm on our runway, at Al Dafra. And I, I can't see anybody else. Oh, you're in front of me, guys! I see you. Who's that? A bit weird. He went through me, but and skills in front of me now. Oh Jesus! What's going on? Are you guys on the runway next to me? Well, I can see you're not, which is making me pretty annoyed already. Uh, um... <laughs> I, <laughs> to take I saw you on. <laughs> yeah, I saw you on the runway cap. Where are you, where are I you can now? see you. I'm behind you right now, flying. You're in the air as well. You just took off. Yes. Without them, right? Okay. Amateur. Jeez, this is like working with monkeys. It really is pretty hard work, but that's okay. My patience is good. Okay, guys, I'm taking off. When do I rotate and where's the speedo? Uh, what are you in? TBM? Uh, you'll rotate. So your speedo is on the left hand side of oh, your, tally. your MFD. Oh, hello. Yep. And it's nice and colored for you, so it'll let you know when you're close enough. Good. Gear. Flaps. Ha <laughs> Airborne, boys. Got some minor sync problems. Right, are you guys going to form up on me, or am I going to have to slap her? Yeah, I'm just approaching your uh, left wing now. Uh, what are you in? Well, I'm in a Spitfire, but I don't know if you'll see a Spitfire. Right, well, because... it's going to annoy me a lot if, if, it, if I can't for some reason, so... A very large Cherokee. Just so passing I... you now. Apparently you're passing me oh. now. Oh, there you are. No, you're in the same plane that I'm in. That's excellent news. That's me, then. That's coming up on your low left. Yeah, that's Ito. Where's Skill? I can't see Skill. I just went past oh, hello, left Skill. Wing. Oh, you're in the same plane as me. I'm going to form up in you. And you're apparently in a Spitfire. Because no one can obviously has the skill to form up on me, so I'll come and form up on you. That's okay. I won't get annoyed. Right. I'm coming, Skill. Can you see me? Skill. See me again. I oh, was that you? Yeah, Roger. Okay, I had a minor intercept. These planes don't drive like F-15s at all. No, and the TBM is really good at being fast. Roger, it doesn't. Can we go a little bit faster than this? We're going like 100 knots, and I'm just trying to stop it stalling. Oh no, you're with me. Yeah. You're following me. That's okay. I got confused. Right, we're in formation. Finally, I don't know what happened to skill, but it sounds like a skill problem. Well, I'm going to put the gas on a bit because we're flying around at stall speed here, and yep. that. How do we shut the Betty up? It's yes, yeah, it's going to be there. There's Brilliant. no way to really this make it nice quiet. Fight. Okay, that's fine. Right, chopsticks. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, pretty much north. Uh, north, 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 north. Okay, we're taking a right turn, guys. How do I do a flyby view? My life relies on flyby view. No flyby view. I, Brilliant. I don't know. Brilliant. Still saying don't sink. A little bit annoying. We've got to cancel this guy. This is ridiculous, right? I'm gonna start hammering buttons. Got it! I got it! I did it! I, I took it off. Oh, oh. Right, let's have a look around this copy, guys. Uh, ADI slash HSI there, and a HUD uh, type thing. We've got a, Jeep. a moving map there. Okay, this is quite cool actually. And a HSI, ADI HUD thing there. That's good. Not many switches, a bunch of circuit breakers probably don't do anything. 
up here. A bunch of stuff I don't really care about. I reckon we can fly this, guys. I'm 140 knots. Where's my boys? Are they with me? I'm about 400 feet behind you, doing about 140 knots. Looking for you. Yep, can't see you. Why is that? I don't know. I can see you, though. Maybe I'm just being a douche. Any viewers, can anyone see him? I'm literally what? flying in circles round one of you, but I take it you can't see a Spitfire doing that. No, definitely can't. We've got the, the world's fastest Cessna is what you're in, uh, Skill. I don't know where Ito's has gone to, but he's gone somewhere about. Yes, Traco. Oh, I found you. You were just, you were just a little bit small whistle, uh, Ito. And why yeah. are you insist on... Yes, go ahead. I have nameplates on, so that way I can see where you are. Right, okay, well I'm going to leave you to that then. Uh, right, let's look at the scenery, guys. So, let's talk about this game. Left. Should be Yas Marina. Yas Marina. Yeah. Okay, guys. One track is. is Yas Marina Very off well. to the left, guys? Somewhere. Okay, we're going to head that way. Um, and follow me, guys. Do not lose tally. Let's talk about this game, guys. I've got the settings on not the highest ultra, but kind of the next one down. So it's pretty high. I'm looking down at the ground, and it kind of goes. The buildings look good, but the ground is blurry. Have you guys got that? That's no. what the scenery mixes, isn't it, with the scenery of the game? Mine looks kind of blurry. Yeah. It's, if you've got the data, it'll download the Bing Maps and photogrammetry and all that with it. But right. So to answer the question, yours is not blurry. Yours is perfect, or no? It's not blurry at the minute. It's, yeah, it's all right. All right. All right. Fine. That's what it is. It's got the building. So where are these buildings coming from? Tell me. Tell me this guy had this engine. How it, I, it, obviously it's fully where it's different to DCS. Yeah, where are these buildings coming from? Where's the information coming from? Has someone gone um, in and put them in? I think it, I think the general data comes from Bing Maps. And then they use that uh, AI to generate buildings where it knows buildings should be. So sometimes it's not the right type of building, but it's, if it knows it's a big building, ah. it'll do a tower block, anything. So analyzes, unless it's handcrafted. Right. So analyzes and has its best guess at what that building should be like, right? That's quite clever. I mean, it's not that difficult. Yeah, but it's just analysing a bitmap at the end of the day, isn't it? I'm guessing that big mosque-looking thing that's ahead of us is a handcrafted right. building by the look of it. So that would be something special, yeah? Off the you, would, you would go in and actually, you know, edit the polygons and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. guys, very good. From distance, it does look pretty cool, I must admit. It's all because they've got all the little cars running around, isn't it? I'm slightly worried about that's why mine's running mm -hmm. a bit jerky, but... Judging by where you are, the that's going to be just on your right now. We and, are yeah, at Sheikh Zayed Mosque. Sheikh Zayed Mosque is where yeah, we're at. Yeah, Al Nakil Airfield. Well, oh yes, there's yeah. an airfield. We're just going to run down the radial, guys. Just for the Lord. In fact, I'm going to go over this mosque. One slight complaint. I know this is a me problem, but the visibility isn't great. There's, there's a lot of cockpit here. Not much. Yeah, if I was in F-16, I could see a lot more. That's one complaint. Okay. Oh, look, there's an actual runway and everything. Okay, fine. Also, also there's, there. that big building over there isn't in DCS. Just saying. Oh, it's Al Patin. Okay, you're that, that island. Yeah, okay, I'm, at Patin. I'm at Patin. I'm at Patin. Running down 3 1, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to be at DCS and. Not navigate. really. Not really. You <laughs> should be on top of this. <laughs> oh, yes. I can see where you are exactly, can't I? You've had enough. I'm about six feet off your left wing cap. I don't know if you can see my plate or not. You've had enough seats. Ah, oh, yes, skill! Look at that. Again, the fastest Cessna in the world. Why can't I see it as a spit? What's going on there? I don't. If you came in a spit in DTS, I, I could know. see it. Do you know what I mean? What's the because, difference in the way it works? Um, well done, skill. You're fine I, with me. What if you I guess. The installed the model. Yeah. <laughs> it's not quite like DCS where everyone shares the models. Mm -hmm. You just don't have access to them. Roger. That'd be my guess. I'm guessing it's because it's, there's just hundreds of them. That, I mean, it's a pure guess. So it just wouldn't be feasible to have everyone install all the models. That's, that's a guess. Okay, so it's got all these buildings here. It must be guessing about the windows and stuff in them, right? It's going to guess what the building is and then mm -hmm. try and find the closest model it has for it. Roger, right, okay. Because you can only really see the roofs from Bing Map or whatever it's called. Yeah. Okay. I just need a bit of power to get up. Well, actually, I don't. This is actually quite a powerful aeroplane. Actually, quite a nice aeroplane. It's the most powerful turboprop <laughs> yeah. aircraft in the world. Really? This is pretty good. A single actually. engine. Okay, guys. I mean, look at all these. Um, look at these buildings. 
that's Abu, that's Albertine and Abu Dhabi. The only the thing that. that annoys me slightly is the the bitmap on the ground is all blurry for me. It looks stupid, but the buildings the buildings look great. But I, I don't think there's probably anything we can do about that. Or it's because there is a setting for ground detail or something. Oh yeah, so I think it defaults quite low. Right, well, mine can't really go any higher because I'm I'm already getting a bit jerky. So, but here's here's my one complaint about this game, is that. I can fly over this part of Dubai, and admittedly it won't be as detailed in DCS, but I will never go below 60 FPS. In this, I'm constantly struggling to get FPS. I guess there's more polygons, question mark? I don't know, someone right. out there must know, I mean, but, but, but that's a thing. But oh, so that's not too bad at the moment. But if I turn it up to super full. Right, we've got some. We, we've come to the end of this island, uh, Chopsticks. I want to head north again. So I'm going to make a right yeah. turn, guys, yeah. with me. Islands to the right. Yep. And you'll mm -hmm. find loads more islands, because that's what Dubai is. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go external for a little bit for the valued viewers. Actually, there's a thing. I found a thing. I found a bit of weird. <laughs> the ground's gone weird. We've had an AI failure here. Come on, guys, follow me. Look at this. Big mounds of roads. There is big mounds of roads. What's happened, Google Bing or whatever you are? So there's a nice little subroutine or whatever that goes in and just plops all these buildings. I wonder when it's doing it. When it, when they're out of frame, I guess it must do it. Look, look at the road. It's so funky. It's had. Why? Why do you think it's done that, guys? Uh, guys well, it's not, obviously just not been optimized for it. Uh, I know since they launched the game they've had an update for uh, I think the continental US and then one for mm. the UK recently so they're obviously just going to work their way around the world and oh, update right. various places. Well here's the thing right, it's the whole world, that's what we have to remember, right? Um, so it's not like you know you can have a programmer just sitting programming the whole world. So, so that's probably one of the reasons why it's less efficient than DCS, it's got to do things differently. Um, you yeah. can't optimise. <laughs> Go to Manhattan or LA, mm. where they care about what it looks like. Because <laughs> even London's only just been updated. Roger. Okay, that's fine, guys. Right, um, I've got a little bit slow here. I got carried away. Yes, you have. <laughs> get power on. I'm gonna go up to. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, it is fast. It is fast, isn't it? Right, we're going to take a skip across the water to the, um, the, 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 whatever it's called, the, uh... That's, yes, think. Island and Abu Dhabi yeah. International. Now, these islands don't exist in DCS, or, or not, uh, these tiny little ones, or not that I can remember. Well, oh, they're, they're on the map. I yes. do apologise, I've gone the wrong way. Where are we going east? How did that happen? Chopsticks, which way am I going? Turn left, slightly. About 20 degrees. Okay. I'm now on a heading of due east. You should see Abu Dhabi International Airfield Looking. pop up in front. I know it should be there. Well, I'm pretty sure it's out there. For some reason, I can't see it. I'm going to go with my... Oh, hello. Yeah, I got it. Right, heading to it, guys. What is that? Okay, guys, I'm heading with this thing. Don't lose me. You do not have permission to lose me. Um, I need to go external view. I kind of want this plane now. That was the, for me I, when this game first came out. I started a thing of trying to do an around the world flight, starting in Korea, and I made it as far as uh, what was it? How far did you make uh, it? I made it to the west coast of the United States. So I flew up from started in Korea, flew to Japan, then to the northernmost island of Japan up the coast of Russia, and then started island hopping the Aleutian Island chain. Mm -hmm. Followed the coast pretty much all the way down, and I made it to Boeing Field in uh, Seattle, Washington. There you go. I just haven't picked up since then. Hang on, guys, something's not right here. Apparently we've reached Abu Dhabi Airport, but that is not Abu Dhabi Airport. Chopsticks, what's gone wrong? It's like a little one-lane airport that's not in DCS. Oh, it's Nakheel. Yeah, that's like Sassal Nakheel rather Nakheel. than Abu Dhabi. Right, so it's just a yeah. different name. Actual Abu Dhabi airport should be slightly on your left. Yeah. The other side of that. I agree with that. Okay, guys, we're going to head to the coast over here and have a little looky wookie. It look, everything looks so yeah. much more dirty than in, D in DCS. Everything's clean and kind of. 
like pristine. Here, everything's dirty and mucky and muddy, which is probably how it is in real life, right? Because apparently I'm near the F1 track, and you know that because I've actually got an ex F1 guy uh, on the stream. But I can't see. Yeah, there's a big wall. Like there's a big wall on the right. What's that all about? Have you seen that guy? Should there not be a big red uh, Ferrari covering somewhere then? There should be. Yeah. Looking. Found a yellow building. Should be at the left. Well, golf course. If that helps. Not much. A mass. There's the massive highway that me and RC landed on the other day. I'm gonna make a left here because we're gonna miss. I call. I've not seen. The uh, anything that's obviously the Ferrari or the Formula One track. It's hard left. Pulling left. Give me a heading. I have no idea. North. Excellent news. <laughs> right, going. I'm just guessing by what I can see on the stream, which is delayed. I've got the I've got the Ferrari building. It's, right. If you follow the highway up the coast to our left, I'm on a bearing of zero six zero at the minute, yeah. and then off to got the it. left of that, it looks got like it. it's there. Right, I'm going. Oh my god, it looks terrible. I'm going balls to the wall. I'll meet you there, guys. It's because it's because it's, it's I'm uh, it's because I'm zoomed out so far. I think. My God, that is awful. <laughs> it is a little bit awful, isn't it? Not optimised yet, boys. Not optimised. I think it will probably render when we get there. The windows will be added and blah 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 blah. Jesus, I've got a little uh, civilian airplane about to overtake my Spitfire. I can't have that. Oh, this man. is much more impressive than ETS flying through Ferrari World in the F16. Must be about your two o'clock high just now, Cap. Oh yeah, it's started rendering now, guys. It's got little windows and stuff. I wonder what it looks like in real life. I can't really Google it because I'll just lose control and crash. But it's like it, they've, they've made it look like an office building. The uh, F1 tracks there, look. Uh, where is that? Is that? Is that just on this side it? of that building. Yeah, it's just is there. It? I'm just flying over it now. Oh, I see it. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go here and do a yo-yo. Wow, the Ferrari building is covered in little bits and bobs. Probably not realistic, but it's interesting that it's had a go. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna full power and go up. Wish these windows were bigger. Oh Watch me stall it now. Formula One track! Guys, it's a Formula One track. It's a really low resolution Formula One track, but it's there. It's there, boys. About that, they All had right. so much opportunity to make a good F1 track, and they just didn't. Yeah, <laughs> and whatever they wanted. <laughs> well, I don't know. Right, guys, we're going to head up the coast. Uh, let's go towards the main city. We've got all the big um, uh, towers to look at and stuff, haven't we? Oh, now that's interesting. This isn't in DCS. What's this chopsticks? That's about to come into your field of view. It's a thing. I'm pretty sure it's, it's cocked something up here. I'm pretty sure it's cocked something up. Because that is that not is a building. Is that, is that the airport terminal building? Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, is it? Fair play. That, that would be Abbey International. No, we can't be, because where's... No, because where's the bloody tower and all that? Oh, that's in Dubai. That's like that's that's up the coast. That's where we're going. So where are we? You're oh, Abu we're in the wrong town. Oh, oh Abu Dhabi. Oh. My apologies. I got I got the wrong way around. I got everything mixed up as usual. You're about right. 50 miles where you're going to finish. Right, we're Wait, going power on, guys. Spit can easily keep up, so no excuses. But about yeah. zero, according to DCS. Okay, we're going to take the main highway up there, guys, because we're going to go and look at some ground details. Oh, look at that big junction. Ich bin Spaghetti Junction. Just at your right wing. Roger. It's, it's like a highway turbine interchange. Right, let's see if you can catch up. What's faster, a spit? What mark are you? Mark 9. Okay, mark 9 spit versus whatever the hell I'm in. Now you're starting to pull away a little bit, I think. That's a you problem. Should have got a turbo prop. Yeah, we're okay, coming off a bit. About when, I'm up, when I was up cruising doing my flights and stuff at uh, Angel 31 ish to 30. I was doing probably close to 280. Yeah. I mean, this is knots as well, remember. His is in miles an hour. 
Yep. That's a bit embarrassing, Cat, been overtaken by a Spitfire. Not really. Spitfire's a classic British automobile. Um, the road is a little bit bumpy. I don't know if anyone else sees that. I wonder why it's done that as well. Oh, that's a funny bridge. <laughs> I bet you can find some real, really weird defects. You've looked around a lot. Big bridge. Skill up. Yeah, I'm just hoping a bit with the hundred miles an hour mark. Oh. About 330 knots. Funny little building on the left, have a look at him. Looks like a sports centre of some kind, guys. I'm having some really bad ping and stuff, so you guys keep rubber banding for yep. me a little bit. All right, we'll just keep us in view. Yep, I can feel. Are you in the same plane as me? Yes, I'm behind oh, you. Really fine. Funky building on the left. Funky building on the right coming up. You know you've got to Dubai when you hit the palm. But well, here's the thing, in DCS, even here you can see mountains. Here, well, I can't see any mountains, it's flat. So what's that all about? Who's right and who's wrong? The mountains in DCS are quite far away, aren't they? Yeah, but you can see them. Yeah, I think, well, maybe it's the draw distance in MS 2020. There you go, draw distance. That's what I said. No buildings, look, guys. in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi? Abu Dubai? Um, forgotten. I've forgotten where we come from where we're going. <laughs> Just because you're halfway between them you can't combine them. Yeah, you see. That's the reason. <laughs> you don't know where you're coming from. You don't know where you're coming from or where you're going. Right. Are you sure you're not cutting that jail? The thing is, I know. If I was in DCS, I'd know exactly where I was because I know what everything looks like. This, I could might as well be on Mars. I'm still following the main highway, though. You guys still keeping up with me? Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to catch up. I did a little uh, split S earlier oh, no. and lost a bit of ground. I've only got 40% fuel by the way, so we'll be landing before too long. Well, that's quite a lot. Yeah. 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 It's a weird texture that's on the left, I don't know what that is. I think I see where you are. Some kind of area of water, just up there, is it? It's not like a little lake or some little pond. Okay. Have a good pond. The scenery should get a lot more exciting once you get that next bend open. I've got a little building on the right on a little mound. I'm going to do some low flying just to uh, entertain the valley viewers. Then I will return. Need a good SA 15 or something to spice mm -hmm. it up. Did, All I usually do for, use this for is flying about places I actually know so I can follow the roads yeah, via right. path flights and things. So it's pretty good does for it, that. Does it work like that? Or does it actually, or does it cock it? Yeah. yeah. No, it's, since they've done the UK update, all the roads are there. Some yeah. of them don't look quite right. There's obviously, unless the area gets handcrafted, mm. uh, there will be issues with it. But all the roads are there, the rivers are there. So you can navigate, your, if you know the area, you can navigate your way around no bother. you do climb, you can also experience icing and watch your aircraft suffer. Roger. I like how a lot of people who stream in this category of Microsoft Flight Simulator are actually playing Paired 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's much older. And it still looks better. <gasps> Controversial. Controversial. I tried saying bad things about this and I got destroyed. Destroyed. 
Yeah, well, my channel's a lot smaller, so I can so I like. <laughs> I think uh, the game, the game's obviously just been out relatively a short period of time. So once it evolves, now it'll get better. But it's just what it is, isn't it? It's a bit dull. <laughs> well, they do launched it was simpler, wasn't it? It's now got all the sceneries. I'm back with you now. Roger, I find it funny. Wow, it's good. telling me that oh, it's no. telling me that you're like 50 feet away, but you're a lot further away than that. That's right. Yeah. I'm on V Max here at 250. Yeah, I'm stuck about 315 miles an hour. We do have a weather radar for us, Cap. Roger. Go on then. Uh, I gotta remember how to do this. I don't know about you, but it's sunny here. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's sunny with like kind of spotty clouds. Yeah. Uh, if you so underneath the center MFD you have, you'll see yep. like a touch display almost. Yep. You're gonna want to click your uh, MFD switch or the MFD button. Jeez, how can you read that? I zoomed in. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try and multitask here. Yeah, okay. What am I clicking? I'm clicking a uh, MFD. Is there a button? Oh, Is yeah. Got it. And then you should see, uh, on the top right, you should see weather selection is now up there and on the MFD. Uh, uh, weather selection, weather selection, weather selection. Got tower starting to appear off my 11 o'clock. Roger. Weather selection, weather selection. Come on, guys, where is it? Oh, got it. Done it, done it. Click it, and then you can do... Next red is, like, you're just looking at the map with radar, but you also have a horizontal scan and a vertical scan. So where's the where's the weather going to show on my on my middle screen? Correct, yeah. it will. Right, I mean, and the yeah. in blocks. And, <laughs> yeah, if you click your uh, if you click the weather selection again, if you still have weather selection up, you can yeah. choose between the three different settings. I'll just stand by. Yeah, I've got the big uh, sail-shaped hotel in view now. Oh, oh, you must have a different uh, graphic setting then. Are you still following the road? Because I'm following the road. Yeah, I'm still following the road. It's probably best if we all stick on the road, otherwise we're going to we lose each other. Uh, all the way yeah. Oh, well, that's quite cool. I've got uh, like a forward view, if you know what I mean. Yep. So the horizontal is obviously looking left and right, so kind of in a fan shape in front of you. The vertical scan is really nice when you're trying to figure out where the cloud deck is. Yeah. You can tell how high up you need to go or how low you need to stay to be out of clouds. The road ahead's got a big left hand curve yeah. in it and it's taking us straight towards the city now, so I'm just I've dropped speed down at two hundred and forty miles an hour. Roger, uh, I'm right on you I'm gonna be overtaking you in a second. Oh look at those two big buildings. Sap sap sap. If you look to your left, you should see the palm now. Which I'm just gonna climb guys. If you're where I think you are, <laughs> I see you. Anyone see the palm? Yeah, palm! Sit there. Stand by, go and get steering in for you. When I go high, the fuzziness disappears and it does actually look pretty impressive. So that's the baby palm. Only when you go low, it becomes problematic. That's a baby palm, Roger. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to see if I can overspeed this bitch. Have you, have you got the cruise ships out there, Cap? Uh, yes, I have. How about that? I wonder how it does them. I guess it just detects them as well. Okay guys, I'm back on the motorway, I'm heading towards town. I don't want to go low again, because it looks, it looks okay up here. Yeah, I see you. I'm uh, th 3 o'clock height, you know. Okay, we've got another palm, guys. Road branches off to the right. Lots of power grids and stuff down there. You might be able yeah. to see it out bad as well. I can... Just as you straight mm. part turn, look to the right, you should might be able to see it. Yeah, I've got it. Nope. But I am heading into town now, guys. And I've got the Burge on the nose. 
Yeah, I'm above you. I'm to above your, uh, big calm. Eight o'clock. Roger. Oh, spaghetti junction. Look at that, boys. He's done a quite a good job of that, actually. If I was a braver man, I would go under that. But I'm not a brave man. No, you can't. Look how wide the road is here. How much traffic there is. Doesn't matter if it's the biggest bridge in the world, you can't fly under it in this because you just die. I'm sorry, you can't fly under the bridges? No, it's like a solid wall wow. of uh, nothing. Okay. So don't even try and have fun. No, no fun at all. No fun allowed. It's unrealistic! Wow, look at those buildings on the left. Okay, there's a funky little building on the coast on the left, guys. I'm going to take a deviation to go look at it. Uh, the, oh, Burj Al something or other. Rad. Yeah, that one. The hundredth time I forget his name, Chopsticks tells me and I keep forgetting it. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, well he's, he's brought up in Nabu Dhabi, so... He, I was not. He was not. All of a sudden, he wasn't, guys. <laughs> Brilliant. I watched the engineering documentary on it. There we go. <laughs> he does like a bit of engineering, to be fair. It was very interesting. Okay, am I, can I get through that triangle at the top or will I blow up? I'm going to Indeed. guess you'll blow up. Okay, I'm not going to go through it. Hashtag... Well, you won't even blow up, you just fade out to non-existence. Hashtag, I can go through it in DCS, just saying. So this is handcrafted, guys. There's no way it's picked up that out of detail from a couple of pixels. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Massive yeah. yacht parked outside it as well. Nice. Cool. It's one of mine, guys. I just left it there. Right, and we are heading now to... There's a little harbour there. We're now oh, heading to the town. Oh. I'm heading back to the road, guys. I'm heading back to the road, full glass. Burj Khalifa. Ich bin ein Burj Khalifa. If you look left, you see the World Islands. Are they World Islands? What are they? Yeah. So that's the map of the world. Stand by, the going up. Yeah, if you climb up a few thousand feet, you look down at it. It's like a... Uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's a DCS, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've been flying this all this time. I haven't found my altitude yet. Oh, there it is. 3,000 feet. Yes, it is, guys. It's sort of like the world. If you squint really a lot. Okay. Pretty good. Heading back down. Overspeed. Overspeed. Okay, this is going to be interesting because this is pretty detailed in DCS. There's lots of little buildings over there. Oh, there's a big building over there that's not in DCS. I'm going to have to check that out. The Maiden Grandstand. Maybe that's new. We're going to have a look. There's the bridge with me, RC, we were crashing the other day for the lols. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing Wow, look at this high rise. Imagine being here in real life. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Look at the Burj. Can you guys see the Burj? Guys, the Burj. I'm just flying up to it now. It's massive. It does seem a lot bigger in, these, in here because it's got more detail. It seems to make it feel a lot more bigger. And I'm going a lot slower, I suppose, but... Wowza! Right, I'm going to have to get some external shots here. Look at that. Wow, look at all that infrastructure. I'm going to go back and have a look. Someone's been busy building all this. There's a stationary plane at the top of the burge. Can you, can you see that? We're running in now. It's not one landing there. No, it's not on the building. It's about a few hundred yards short of it. How about uh, that? To its east that, side. Was that one of us? Yeah, I found it. I don't know who that is, guys. Some douchebag, I imagine. Okay, that's the Dubai Mall. I bet that's a big mall. I love to maul people. It's pretty impressive. When you're up high, it looks, does look pretty good, guys. Yeah. I have no petrol, though, so I'm going to have to go and land somewhere. All right, well, the international's right there. I'll meet you there in a bit. I'm going to have yeah, a look at the Since my much more efficient turbo prop, is here. I won't have to worry about that for now. Okay, I figured out how to zoom in on external view. That's an improvement. Anyone know what Maiden Grandstand is? Is it horsey racing? I think it's horsey racing. Horsey 
Okay, let's go land guys at the big airport. That's an hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> Look at your plane shaking in the overspeed. Yep, that's a minor problem. Overspeed my butt crack. I'm going to go and have a look at the terminal building. That's handcrafted. Right, I'm going to land on uh, the left hand runway. Whatever. Oh no, might not. I think I've run out of petrol. How embarrassing for you. Glide down there, that's an hors d'oeuvre. There's other people moving about, Cap. You might upset somebody. Or oh, down on the on runway. Top. I can kiss yeah. my ass. They should know who I am. I'm just going to come and land. I'm not going to do ATC and all that bollocks. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm, gonna... I'm, going, I'm going for the right hand runway because I'm not going to make it to the left one. Wow, I just found a real cool little thing on the railway I want to have a look at. Look at that. That's handcrafted. Those little uh, things. Poor people of MS-2020 are not used to GR They're not, are really. they? They're not. Everyone theory. Oh, look all this paint. Are they humans? Can't be. Is that the model? Can't be humans. That's a monorail, isn't it? Monorail, monorail, monorail. Don't know. I didn't look. The uh, This building's pretty cool. FPS is starting to struggle now, guys. There's a lot going on around here. There's a lot of planes. Yeah, there's so an airliner just moving across the road. There is. And the now, flaps is not working. Now, is that a man or is that an AI? I have no idea. Valid viewers, is that a man or is that an AI? They've taken it very seriously if it's a man. <laughs> if they're on the taxi line, it's probably AI. <laughs> yeah, it's probably AI, okay. Right, well, they're going to have to suck it up because Kaplan's like Kaplan's. That's the you all know that by now. Oh, Shifty's in. Come join us, Shifty. Where are, uh, where are we? Wow. Uh, uh, oh, God, Dubai now, I think. Right, if anyone knows the landing speed of whatever the hell I'm in, now would be the best time to tell me. One, four, I think. No problem. Approach speed, something like that. I don't know. And then perhaps working, so I'm landing very fast. It's been over five years since I did a flight something like this. Okay, inbound for uh, three zero or something like that. Yeah, it's three zero. Don't get in my way. Okay. Got it boys, I got it. I'm at the end of the runway, parked with no engine running because I've run a pedal. Which run? There's a lot of runways in this game. Oh god, I don't know. The... the big one. The inland, I think you may be just flying over me now. Hello. I'm um, you on your right. Oh, there's skill over there somewhere, I think. This bloody triple seven's about to bang me. Look, out the way, son. Come on, GR's in town now. Look at this for landing, boys. I put my gear out, I think I did. And cut, flare it, flare it like a set of flares. Oh, it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. Like a seventies rocker. Yep, seventies rocker. Look at that, guys. You see it? Did you see it? All right, we're going to refuel, and then we're going to take off. And we're going to go north on our epic journey to wherever the hell we go next. And ting. Alright, I'm going to follow uh, Dubai etiquette and turn off here. It's cut across the grass. I can see one of you taxi. No, that's a guy taking off. I really want to know if that's a human or not. I want to know so much. He's going across the grass, so it's got to be human, right? He's literally <laughs> just gone right across the sand. Yeah, that's a human. What a douchebag. Douchebag, come and join our group. He'd be like... <laughs> That is going to take off now, look. Watch him stack it. 
Oh, I wish for you to pull the stick. Right, guys, how do I refuel? Come on. Come on, guys. Where's the armament menu? How do I do it? Guys? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Skill? Skill? I have no idea how to get refuel. I'm trying to figure that out. Right, well, you, while you're figuring that out, oh, these leather chairs, this plane is cool. How do I, in real life, afford a plane like this? It looks amazing. Uh, I think they're like three million dollars. Ah, that's more than like my that. YouTube revenue allows, I'm afraid. Chopsits, you're going to have to sure. do something about that. Right, uh, I am going to... Oh my god! That's odd. Can everyone see that on my screen? What? That's not moving right. That's <laughs> not moving right. Harrier. It probably is a Harrier, isn't it? But I see it as a skill plane. Isn't it interesting? That's why that guy was hovering, right? It was a Harrier, right? It's a helicopter mod. Or a helicopter, really... or whatever. Right. There's an airliner moving towards somebody. Yeah, I uh, don't worry. I'll, I'll bat him away. Oh, hello, boys. Someone's found me, look. Which one is it? Let's kill. No, I've got no pedal to get there. Someone's... Who is it? Someone's with me, look. I realize I've been muted this whole time, but uh, if it's another one of you, it's me. Hello, Ito. <laughs> well done for finding me. And well done for muting yourself, you idiot. It's classic RC, except it's Ito. Yes, it is. Guys, I'm going to go for a quick wee-wee and get a, a cup of tea, and then we'll go on our next leg of our journey. Uh, you, Chopstick, start planning the next leg of our journey. That's an hors d'oeuvre. Uh, I'm going to guess that. Did it stand by? Yes! Full fuel. Oh, that's you, Skill. How about that? Right, let's actually make an effort. Wow, there is something wrong with your angle of attack. Anyway. Um, so you drive it alongside you now? Yes, and you're, yeah. you're doing a wheelie because of your angle of attack. Right, this is going to be a fun this takeoff. Spit does not handle like a DTS spit. It doesn't? Is it better or worse? Draw me it's got it. easy ground handling. There's no problems. You just steer it like any other normal plane, ground handling wise. There's no differential really? braking of it. That's a bit disappointing. But the takeoff is taking a bit of getting used to. Take us away! Good. Rolling. Wow, that spit really goes, doesn't it? Rolling. Oh, you're a bit. Okay, I tried to do it from an external view, and it was a terrible idea. I'm having all sorts of. There we go. Okay, airborne. Gear up. Flaps up. Right, we're going. Uh, get on a course. And we'll go and find Kasab. FYI, we can't catch up when you're flat out. Yeah, I'm only doing that. I'm just turning those out. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take that back then, Skill. Yeah. Did you make if it up, you I turn... think? Yeah, I'm behind you. If you turn for 040, that's the straight end course to Kasab. 040? Yes, sir. Now, let's go along the coast, guys. It's going to be sexier, and it'll only be like an extra seven miles or something. Yeah, yeah we'll start a general right hand on the coast. Yeah, currently it's about a 72 mile trip. Roger, but we're going to go as fast as we God will allow us to go. If you're watching at home, God know, A, God knows why you're still watching, and B, go and put your um, coffee on because we're going to take a while. I like the interior of the plane is sexy. It's got all the seats. It's got all the lights. Uh, that side of it's quite good, isn't it, Ito? Yeah, I. So I fell in love with this plane from FSX mm -hmm. and X Plane Eleven. I actually paid for there was a like a super high fidelity version of it. Yeah. I forget for which one it was for. And yeah, I think it was X Plane. And. I fell in love with it. That was a TBM 900, I think. Was, and now yeah. I'm. Now we're in TBM 930s, which is just steps up. Roger. Four million That's pounds. It's a lot of money, guys, for an aeroplane, isn't it? For a little aeroplane. Yeah, I feel the 50 a lot in FSX. 
How much does a module cost in FSX then? Uh, uh, about the same as DCS. Right. Yeah, depends on what you're going for. You can get low, you can get freeware stuff, and then you can also get uh, paid stuff. <laughs> MDG stuff, it's like 200 quid. <laughs> yeah. Wow, really? 200 quid for a module? That's for like a 747. Roger. Like, like everything is perfect. And that fidelity is that. Is that the same as DCS? Yeah, you get all the buttons and switches. Oh, it's, it's even beyond that. Yeah. Wow! How about that? I wonder who makes those. Well, PMDG. Do the um, any of the DCS developers make planes for this? Uh, I do. Well, the Spitfire that Skills flying is from Flying Irons Simulation. Ah, how about that? So oh. the same guys who are making the A7 mm. made the Spitfire. It's a recent release. I think yeah. within the past Just a couple of weeks ago, a think. month. Yeah. Yeah. What you guys? Are you guys still with me, by the way, or, or roughly? Are you going I can the coast? see you. Yeah. Going to the coast. I'm just above you and along the sort of coastline. Roger. I can see you. Yeah. I'm still behind you, following. Okay. One improvement. Well, actually, I was going to say one improvement over DCS is that I love how the cursor keys maneuver you around the cockpit like really easily from side to side. Like the whole cockpit is usable rather than specific stations and that it's just nice isn't it do like that and you'd have to remember some weird command like control alt delete one forward slash xyz that's that's my one improvement so far i enjoy also the cockpit texture is very nice well, i suppose that's module per module though isn't it yeah mm, yeah but these are default ones so they're pretty good for default mm. The default P3D ones and the default FSX ones, they were terrible compared to the game. Roger. Uh, guys, I see the mountains. We're finally to the mountains. <laughs> we're there, we're getting there. That's okay, it must be about shortly. We can bomb that again. Yeah. It should be off to our right somewhere, if I remember correctly. I think that's enough of a beating in the rain campaign. We'll leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, isn't it? All three of us are red pilots, aren't we? Uh, I'm yeah. a, no, I'm a blue pilot, dishbag. <laughs> well, I'm a bit disappointed that 20 mils don't work at the minute, because mm. you're right in. Mm. There you are, I see your skill. I do wish it showed us a spit, but fair enough. Guys, mountains, we're getting mountainous, it's going to be sexy! You guys can follow me. Uh, I'll lay the course. What's the rough heading? Zero... Current heading, basically, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Mm, yes. Yeah. One thing I noticed is it's a lot harder to see planes at a distance in this. Not a big distance, but moderate, you know, one to five miles compared to DCS. Yeah, your light give your position away very well. Yeah. Your uh, anti-collision yeah. navigation lights. That's what I'm seeing better yeah. than the plane. Yeah. But that is kind of real life, though. It's really hard to see aircraft in real life. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. especially with the backdrop of these buildings and stuff. Oh yeah, like I, so when you get hard. over. Up... <laughs> Go ahead. If you're looking down on another aircraft, you've got no chance of seeing it. It's yeah. Really yeah. I mean, one of you was right behind me. I, I, I couldn't see it at all. Um, chaps, are the wire, are the electric wires modelled? I haven't seen any. I don't think they are. I've seen the pylons, I've not noticed the wires between them, to be fair. Roger. The hell is that? Now here's interesting, there's a base here that's not on DCS. Um Al Quain. So that's a place on DCS, but there's no airfield there. Let's go and have a look, it's pretty much on the way. So let's go and have a look at it guys, we're just going to nip across the water here. That's where that odd bit of canal is in DCS. Yeah, definitely something there, boys. Any of the planes have a working radar in DCS in this game? Um, I with a warplane. Uh, yeah, warplane. No, there's nothing. There's nothing like FCRs, I believe. Like, I don't know about the like the 15 and the Eurofighter mod, uh, modules that came out. I haven't bothered to touch them, so 
most ships it says no. Okay, it's a cute little kind of, I'm guessing, private airfield. I don't know what that is, but it's a small airfield there. It's interesting that it's not in DTS. I don't know why it's there. Here's an interesting looking building. That's not been used, is it? It's got X's on the runway. Oh, this is handcrafted. Maybe they're getting rid of it, or... What's funny is it's built just up in our... Oh, is that you above us, Skill? I think I see you. Are you flying with lights on? I've uh, lost track. Yeah, I think I see you off to my uh, three o'clock when I come in. There's someone ahead of us and above us. Is that one of us? No. I thought that's a, that was skill, but yeah, there's someone above us. I can see the navigation lights. I'm going to go and have a look, guys. Intercept. Let's go and have him. Let's have him, boys. Hey, douche. No. Intercept was all wrong, guys. And it turns out I'm not an F-16 and I can't get up there. So I'm giving up. Warning, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Cap, you know the uh, 829 mod you looked at? Yes. A couple... Parallel... relatively impressive, that is. Did you know it's got the same, relatively the same motor that's inside this? How about that? The PT-6. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that wasn't that... That's only 1,600 horsepower. It's not, I mean, I guess... Well, I mean, it's as powerful as a Spitfire engine, basically. There's a MB339 in this. I've not got it, and I think it's maybe the same folk that did it for DCS that do it for mm -hmm. this, but I may be wrong with that. Roger. Guys, I don't want to excite you, but we're nearly at the mountains. We're nearly at the mountains. <laughs> yep, I can see it in my... Uh, we're going to have some fun. My PFD. We're going to see what's there. Like a PFD? Just love a yeah. PFD. <laughs> I'm not about the tech, guys. I'm not really much about the tech. Oh, it's got sand dunes here. Look on the right. Can you see little sand dunes starting? It must be picking them up from... Hang on. How? Where does the height data come from, then? Because that's not coming from Google Bing or whatever, is it? The height data for the mountains. I wonder uh, if I wonder if there's a, there's a database somewhere for the whole world and, like, all the height data of bits. I, I wonder if they're able to take like images from different times of the day and then mess with trigonometry and triangles to find heights from there. Interesting. Uh, I was following some lights there. It wasn't you guys. I don't know where you are now. Well, I don't know how you've managed to lose us. We're on the coast. Skill, if that is your real name, I'm going to check if there's any wires in these pylons. I don't think there will be. You might be exploring uh, runways and stuff and then I lost you. Well, I'm, we're almost at the mountain, so you better find us soon because I'm not stopping. Skill. Yeah, I'm uh, nowhere near the mountains, so I'm gonna just dive. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. This is a guy who upholds the British law. Yeah, right. Uh, are you still with me, Ito? Yes. Excellent news. I can still see you. Okay. Uh, skill, we are just coming. Oh, never mind. You don't have an actual. I was about to list off an IC... ICAO for you, but I was like, wait, you don't have a GPS in how your embarrassing. Country. Not in a split, you know. board. <laughs> He's got the knee board, if that helps. <laughs> global terrain. The boys are saying satellite global terrain mesh. So it's, I guess it's kind of like what I was saying. And yeah. that must be useful for GPSs and stuff like that. Yep. So you're now approaching Raz Al Khaimah. Is that a base? Yeah, the the city is on is what you're approaching, and the base is off to your right. Right, yeah. I remember that. I've landed here plenty of times when I need to. There's another. Missiles. There's another airfield directly off our nose. Okay, here's a cool thing for you then, guys. Right? Wouldn't it be cool if this could grab and bear in mind that it's all it's all public accessible data uh, in as much as we need? Couldn't we call if this could grab? information from the planes in the DCS servers and overlay F-16s and stuff flying about. And vice versa. Right? Pretty cool. There's no reason why that, that information couldn't be important. I don't know, they won't, obviously, but... And then we could have... A, like, we could be flying along here with um, Iran campaign happening above us and missiles flying about. And this wouldn't have to do any of the maths. It would just display the X, Ys and Zs and stuff. Just saying. Mr. Bill Gates is listening. <laughs> Which he's not. <laughs> he's one of your viewers. Yes, he is. Guys, we're about to hit the mountains. I know I keep saying that, and it is taking longer than it normally does, but we almost hit... Oh, my God, I've got to do something. <laughs> I've got to do something. Oh, no. Right, what's the aileron's like in this? 
Oh my god, there's no aileron authority. We were too late, we're committed now, guys. Ah, uh, oh, why did I do this? And rudder and aileron roll. Ah, my god, that was... We're all right. We're all right. The chop, there's not an airfield over there where we just flew, correct? Uh, not in DCS. The nearest one is Razal Karma, which is... Off to like our four or five o'clock. Yeah, way off. I'm uh, just passing Raz, the, the military base now. Yeah, they're off yeah we're closer to the coast. We're next to, we're just crossing a lake and there's two uh, towers next to the lake. If you're not yeah, here, we're going into the mountains, so what are you going to do? Are you going to come stop by going about? We're go at, buster. We're go buster to where the mountains meet, the left of the mountains meet the sea. We're literally there. Maito, you can just follow me. Yep, I'm just starting to climb now. Climb? No, I think you've got the wrong idea, matey. We're going old school. Yeah, okay. I also know that we're in a turboprop coming to mountains. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Energy conservation, boys. 101. We'll be fine. I'm going to check my fuel status. You all is good, boys. You all is good. Whack that rudder. Ooh, the rudder of our flat motor does not work right. Just ignore that. Oh, wow, look at those Montagnas, guys. Wish I could turn my settings up to ultra, it would be awesome. Are you still with me, Ito? I have to keep checking, yep. I don't know what you're like. Look, can you see where can you, we're going up? We're going up this one, Ito. Get your speed max. Get your KE maxed out. We're going for it. I feel like mistakes might be made. Mistakes might be oh, made now. They are going to be made. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I've been flying virtual. Oh my god, I can see the mountains on my HUD! Did you see that? How does it do that? Yep. How? Go That's on then. How could it possibly do that? That's the Garmin synthetic vision data. Yep. That's quite clever. Right, keep an eye on your airspeed. So, what happens, I, I tell you, probably don't understand this, but as we go higher, the airspeed is going to go down. If it goes down, we might stall. <laughs> Okay, these are a lot taller than they look. You know when you go climbing a mountain as a kid and you always think you're at the top and the stakes are quite high? You know that feeling? Uh, no. Okay. Do you go know on? Well, you're about to know that feeling. You're probably climbing before you did. Getting quite a few warnings here. <laughs> there are some warnings going off. I'm oh, that's ATT. That's me stalling. And we're over. Didn't I say trust me? No, we can't just camp. He's not popular on Hoggy. Wow, look at those mountains on the right. The views of people is what Hoggy's saying. Yes. No, I just had an ITT warning, so I had to back off a little bit on the throttle. Roger. What's an ITT warning? Cap's got ITT warnings, but he don't care. And yes. Urban like, Cap. Ah, you know what? Okay, okay, you're fine. pushing the motor too hard. All right, I'll come off a little bit. Jesus Christ. Okay, I've done it. I do not have a warning, so I'm doing all right. <laughs> you, ain't got the you ain't got no turbine. Yeah, the mountains do look good, Shifty says. Bear in mind, I'm not max run. They do look good. Oh, I've got turbulence. I'm bouncing. I've got turbulence. Yep. Proper turbulence, not weird DCS turbulence. That's quite cool. Okay, that's a wall in front of us. I understand there's a wall, and we're going to have to go full power here. Gate. I think that's the border as well. Cool. Oman, here we come! Over we go. Wow. Okay, coming off the gas. Look at us over the mountains, guys. Whoa, look at those mountains over there. Cool. I can't wait to see this with the new DCS clouds. <laughs> we're getting new clouds. Oh, that's dork. I don't know. I heard we're getting new clouds here. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. Personally. I know. But yeah, it's definitely not everywhere. Secret project. Mm -hmm. What would I know, eh? Yeah, look, I'm bumping. I'm bumping. It actually feels like when you're in a real plane as well. It feels awful in a real plane when you're in a little plane. Oh yeah, never done that. Feels like you're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. Uh, I got to do what's called like an orientation flight, and we were in a little Cessna 172 in New Mexico, and going from 
Albuquerque International to Santa Fe was, as soon as you have the mesas that's in between the two cities, it's yeah. just awful. I was watching the jumps and my rate of climb anywhere from going plus 300 down to like negative 600 and then back up again. I, I took off out of Vegan Hill and there's a valley at the end of the runway. At a, at a hot day, you take off and then you just lose climb performance. <laughs> <laughs> like 200 feet off the ground. And you're just like, I, I hope I can still climb. Yeah, in a little little pipe at uh, therapy. Yeah, eventually I'd like to own a Kit Fox Series 7 uh, STI is the aircraft I eventually want to own. It's just a little bush plane. Uh, Cap, we're going to need to make a turn left because we're about to be on the other side of the peninsula. You sure we're left? Yes. Roger. I was having fun. I love driving in these mountains. They're <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's impossible for me to tell where you are. <laughs> so, yeah, good luck. We're... We're... It's yeah. impossible. Me and... Nothing's impossible. Well, yeah. Kasab ahead. I found it. Don't worry, guys. I found it. I've been through here in a Tomcat before. Not in real life. I'll have uh, the club is going to be off to our 9 o'clock, by the way. Yep, working on it. Oh, it doesn't turn. The turn performance is not there, boys. It is not an F-14. Ah, oh, pull! Minor problems coming up. See Abu Musa. Lost the visual on you. Okay, well, I'm just following this little canyon, so you can't go. Oh, I see it. Okay, this canyon, I think, leads to Kasab. If I know DCS, and let's face it, I do, this canyon leads one place and one place only. I think I found the road. Yeah, the road. Is it a road? There's only one road. That's that goes it. To That's it. That's it. Kasab, baby. I see Kasab Airfield just off my nose. Okay, caps there. We're going to do a, probably a touch and go. In fact, let's go to Landon Park for the lols. Heavens, we do want the lols around here. Okay, I'm there, guys. Hello, Kasab. For this do. I'm going to do a run break. Tall break. We're not at Kasab. South of Kasab, I'm going to fly a dive over that towards the airfield because I'm quite high in a minute. Yep, this isn't Kasab, by the way. Uh, it says Kasab Airport, just saying. Where are you, I know? At Kasab Airport? I am behind... No, we're on the east coast ah. of the peninsula. It looks very different to the one in DCS. Something's gone wrong. Yeah, that, that looks a bit weird. Very different. <laughs> right, something's gone wrong. But <laughs> it's well, like, This I'm, is... ICAO's... Oh, as Oscar Oscar Kilo Hotel. I can categorically tell you this is not in DCS. A, this is a chopsticks fault. <laughs> B, how do we get to the real one? That's an hors d'oeuvre. Uh, so if you want to follow me, I can take it to Kassab. So, yeah, hang on, I think it's to see you. You over the I'm runway? Are you over, did you just go over the runway? Yes. Okay, so left. I should... Yeah, I got you, I got you. Visual, go on then. Smarty pants. So that one's not in DCS either, is it, guys? No. I've no idea where that one is. Big mountain in front of my face. I, I keep forgetting you're flying in daylight right now, and I'm not. Yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's a problem. Can you? I think you can adjust it on the fly. Let me just turn it down a little. Now, if anyone will remember how to do this, it would be really useful to me. I think you're on the east coast of Amar. Oh, yeah. We should really synchronise our. Um... <laughs> you're synchronising your watches. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. And what time have you got a UT? Say let's go UTC. I got 909. I got 1614. Okay. About to be 1615. Let me have a little play. Oh. I'm just in the dark. That's too dark. I said UTC, not local. <laughs> that is UTC. Jesus Christ! That's in the middle of the night. I told. <laughs> I'm not going to the middle of the light. Right, I'll tell you where we're going. We're going to do 1400 UTC on my mark. Are you ready for 1400 UTC on my mark? Sure. Mark 1400 UTC. Skill, where the hell are you? Oh, look at the sun. Sun looks lovely. Guys. Oh, it's beautiful. That's a nice bit of land there, look. Uh oh, I've got to fly over this arch. I'm glad I've got the most powerful turboprop in the world now. That lighting looks almost better than DCS. Okay, in all of this, it does look good. In all of this uh, excitement, I've lost where we're going. Are you still going around the coast lead? Yeah. Right. So I'm still just pulling up the east down. coast. 
Oh, the turbulence is bouncing me all over the place. Boys, I don't want to warn you, my weather radar says I've got a weather front moving in. Look at that, guys. Look out of my window. That is could be real life. It's not. It's actually okay. a video game. It's actually a bunch of ones and zeros. I'm just saying it could be. Isn't that what life is anyways? Yep. Yes, it is. Yep, completely lost now. You've lost me. And no, it's not a me problem. So... Uh, and if you cross that bit of land on your left, you should end up in a battle yeah. right place. How do we Partially. get here? How did we go wrong? Because we followed the mountains and kept going east. I don't think we did, you know. I don't want to point fingers, but someone was dicking around in the mountains. Not really. I followed the exact road I thought we were supposed to be. And it even said Kassab Air Base. Right, that I'm is true. Okay, I'm looking for Kassab. Kassab, Kassab, Kassab. Arped off the left hand side of Kassab 01. I'm going to. You got there! Yeah, Kassab should be off our nose now. How did you get that skill? I reckon he's gonna, No, I know what he did. He spawned there. He's such a cheating Scott. He spawned there. <laughs> Excellent navigation skills. Yeah, Whilst right. you were planning about the mountain, he just flew over the top of them and landed. <laughs> What's your temperatures? Uh, how do you know, guy? Uh, where does it say? On the engine page. In the I'm center. looking. Uh, right. Uh, they are 848. 848. Is that good or bad? That's very high. That's high? Right, okay, I'm coming down. Are you looking at his ITT? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a bit high, actually. Okay, I'm 700 now. Yeah. I'm cruising along at 653 with. Roger. All understood, guys. I do not want to damage this exp Oh, look at the little road going up that hill. Ah. Oh, guys, I think I might be there. Actually, I'm definitely not there. there. We'll be going the same speed around the same coast, so... Oh, it does look good, guys. I'm going to do an outside shot with the valued viewers. I think that's Niad that you're looking at, so you're going to continue around the coast now. You're almost there. I think I finally get MS-2020. I think I finally get it, guys. You should be, if you're coming, yeah, you're coming over the mountains with me right now, I believe. You should see, uh, on your nose, Cam. the harbor. Oh, I'm taking in the sides, boys. I'm taking in the scenery. Look at the sun. It's, oh, it's very pretty, guys. Start backing off the throttle. That's not even max settings, is it, Cam? Oh, I think I see the base, guys. I think I see the base running in. Oh, hang on. I'm over I keep overheating this goddamn turbine. Right, there we go. Okay, tally base. It's got no uh, mark for me. It's got no name tag, which is a bit weird. Hey, guys. Are you landing? I can see you, so... Uh, hey, isn't it funny? I made it through the land. Uh, lead made it in through the sea. We may have a small collision on the runway, but don't worry about that. Right, air brake. Do we have an air brake in this thing? Landing gear. Landing no. Kind of plane doesn't have an air brake. It has like a tiny little slat that comes up. I wouldn't really worry about it. I won't. Landing gear. Landing gear. It slows down pretty well though as soon as you back off the throttle. You've got beta mode, haven't you? So the propellers. And I haven't thrown it into thrust reverse because I don't have the buttons bound. Do a lot of turbulence. Landing gear. Landing gear. It's okay, Caps just overspeed on approach. That can never end. What do you mean? I'm landing like I land my F-16, guys. Good. Land an F-16, you can land a bloody Learjet at what I'm in, or whatever I'm in. How okay. fast are you landing now? It is an unorthodox approach, I'll give you that. But, <laughs> orthodoxy is not my middle name, boys. Watch. Oh, God. It's a lot thinner than it looks in the other game, isn't it? It's a lot thinner. I'm landing... Uh, I'll tell you when I can work out how to tell you. I'm landing northbound. You're landing on two. Yep, you're landing on zero one. Did you see that rudder control, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, skill. I'm coming. Ich komme gern. You know what I like about here, out in the sticks? Good FPS. I don't have to worry about... Uh, it gets a bit nappy in town. Can I go on the grass or will I get stuck like DTS? You can go on the grass. Thank you. Yeah, because it's not silly. <laughs> that is one thing that annoys me, yeah. I'm not going to lie. 
That's That's actually one of the... the EBM 930s actually can do soft field landings. I wonder if we can turn Um, ourselves in solid so we can collide with each other. Shifty wants me to taxi through him, a little bit worried about that, but... It's not like we've come a long way or spent a long time doing it, but okay. (laughs) He's already disappearing. Yes, he is! Yes, he is. Not sure I like that bit of it, if I'm honest. Right, guys. I'm not going to refuel because I don't need it. Uh, Skill will need to refuel. Uh, Chopsticks, we're going to the... across the sea, north, to the nearest bit of land. Spot the course. Yes, Keshem. We're going to Keshem. Yeah, Keshem. It's going to be annoying because we've got lots of water to go over, but we can do some fun. We can talk about the fun times. Uh, Keshem is about 3.30 for 40 miles once you get off oh, the other that's fine. How many times have we bombed this runway, guys? Uh, zero, really, for red side? Nonsense. I've bombed it loads of times in other things. Yeah. Are you ready? Whoever you are. Ito. Yes, I will be ready by the time you get. That's by the time you start rolling. Value GR member number 317. Yes, you are. Value GR. I just know you by your four digit Discord codes. Alison has to <laughs> fill in the name. <laughs> oh dear. You know what? I'm going to try to do an air show takeoff. This could go wrong, but watch this. I've changed my mind immediately when I realise that it's not a good idea. So instead, I'm going to go gear up. Right, let's go, uh, Ito. Whoops. Yep, trim still trim. rolling. Right, I've set my trim wrong completely. Oh, what was the direction? 330? And Ting? Yeah. Are you sure? Because that's to the left slightly. Yes, get to the end of the end of the uh, port and then oh. turn 330. All right. Oh, I can see land. Land ahoy out there. I think. Maybe. Let's try Even, some... Uh, uh, Ito, let's try some high altitude work. Follow me. That's a hors d'oeuvre. Okay. Right. Let me catch up there. I might burn the engine out, so got to keep an eye on the, uh, keep an eye on the uh, temps, guys. I wish I had flyby view. Why doesn't the video game have flyby view? It, it used to in previous versions. Oh, well, that's someone's problem. I don't know whose it is. Hey, Grump. Not many aim fifty fours in it, Grump. <laughs> you can't fire six at once. There you go. Not six, you can't. Maybe one or two. Oh, you're both up. Did you take off? Look, just skill get up. Cap, your airspeed is dropping alarmingly oh, quickly. Well, yeah. That's why you're here, to keep an eye on things. Look at that sunset, guys. Who can see that? I want that in DCS. That is pretty sexy. Someone had to go and program that, you know. How high up do you want to go, Cap? Uh, I don't know. How high does this thing go? Uh, well, I think it's about 30. Uh, probably not going to get that high, but I'm going to go up the clouds because I haven't been above the clouds yet. I'm just looking at the lovely, um, I'm looking at the lovely sun. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at these clouds! They're cool, right? Now, do you reckon these are linked, these clouds, or not? Well, if you had live weather, then yes, because we'd be sharing the same weather, but since we're not doing live weather, it can vary between the two of us. I turned off, whoops, I'm burning my engine now. I turned off live weather. Oh, weather front, right in front of us. We're going into it, boys. Hold on to your panties. Oh, oh red is a bad idea. Red's a bad <laughs> idea now. White. Yeah. Sounds, it. sounds prejudiced I've, against red. I've, I've, I've flown through a green cloud and it was bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't have no problems at all, boys. We're out the other when side! I made, when I made my flight through the Aleutian Islands in, in this game, uh, I, I had to climb through clouds that were orange and red, and that was a, a fun time trying to do. Guys, <laughs> what we should do is... Oh, it's happy time. <laughs> <laughs> what we should do is we should... You know what we're going to do? We're going to get you all around my house. I'll have to get Alison to agree to this. And we're going to put six seats that represent these seats facing in the right directions with seat belts and everything. And I'm going to have you in my room, all sitting in the six seat belt, sitting in the six seats. And, and guys can take over driving the aeroplane. And we'll have pretend that we're looking out the windows. Wouldn't that be fun, guys? We could do that for all night. And we can fly from. Yeah. Then yes. 
I beg your pardon? As long as there's beer, uh, it's fine. Yes, you can have beer. <laughs> That's, I believe you can drink and fly, so why the heck not? Hmm. Let me push the gas up I a little bit. I've got a little slow. I have lost sight of you, Cap. I'm sorry, oh, you are. Right. I'm trying to get by the clouds, but my engine keeps going no part of grace. You know my oh, thoughts I'm, on part of grace. Dude, I'm currently climbing at 1,200 feet a minute. Okay, I am at an angel's... Oh, oh well, I'm at 6,000. An F-16 would have chewed this plane up. I'm at 7,000 yeah. now. Right, I've got the... Yeah. Little bit. I shall catch you with it. Part-timer skill. See that. Why skill? Yeah, I'm off to your left top. Yeah. Where's the F-10 map when you need it, boys? All the clouds are very good. All the clouds are very good. I reckon the DCS ED went on here and said, how should we make our clouds look like this? And then did it. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what oh, I would do. That's what I would do. Twitch chat. Oh, man, I can't remember. What does Zippy sound like? And which one is Zippy? It's the one who's zip is about as a four as it. Well, he's not the retarded one, is he? The one with the pink hipper. Oh, you'd have to go and show me. I can't remember. Roger. I am. Right, I can't be that far away from. Oh, land ahoy. Land ahoy. Yeah. yeah. I've got the airfield off my nose. Uh, yeah, at what you're... heading? Uh, I'm flying 334. Standby. You're directly over the cap, because that little island is the where the blue fart was in the Marne campaign. Right, so we're on, I'm on course, yeah? Yeah, and then Beautiful. so it's directly on your nose. Right, we're going to land there and then we'll terminate. What an excellent little trip it's been, RC. RC? You're not RC, you're right, Toe. RC refused to play. So I'm not giving Bill Gates my money. I'm going to have some look at some outside. Look at that, that's pretty. Keep in mind that the altitude you're flying at right now, your outside air temp is, in, is below zero. So keep an eye out for ice if it decides to form. Well, what am I looking for? What's ice on an aeroplane? You won't get ice unless you're in visible moisture, which you're not, so you'll be fine. Just don't fly through the clouds in that temperature. <laughs> you, it's pretty easy to recognize when, you're, when you start to ice up. <laughs> yes, because the controls start shaking and then you fall out of the sky. Uh, yeah. I pressed F1 and even now, by accident, and now even though I'm at max power, I am falling out of the sky. I'm getting slower and slower. Uh, what have I done wrong? Let me just go and have a look outside. Oh, that was F2. Wow, the plane looks okay. Yeah, you're passing over me at my 11 o'clock high. Still getting slower. So it'd be your 4 o'clock low. Still getting slower. Your ground speed getting slower as well because you're climbing quite fast. Maybe you're climbing at four, four and a half thousand feet a minute. Yeah, it must have been it. Oh, just, yeah, that's just a little bit too much for this plane. Hey, whoa, what can I say? Hey, I'm not a real pilot. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna dive through this cloud, guys. Is the base on this little island or is it on the main island of Kesha? Uh, island just, I think I actually might see it. Oh, I'm gonna do an F super cap approach. You're about to see a super cap approach in what game are we in? MS-12. Oh, look at the uh, lights inside. Look at my screen. Isn't that clever? How does it do that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I wonder how it does that. What graphics card are you on, Cap? 38 EO. And your frame rate, please. Stand by. Uh, probably quite high at the moment, because I'm over nowhere. It is. Uh, 47, 48, 47, 48. Pretty good for me, Thank on this. You. Yeah, I'm in the mid 30s. You're on stupid VR, oh. though, aren't you? Nope. No. Well, I'm, shut up, I'm also on a, I'm on a 2070 compared to you. So. How embarrassing for you. I'm on a 1060. So. Yeah. Oh, someone's <laughs> poor. Wait, okay. you're not playing fast right now. I have a 1070. <laughs> I have one of those. It's actually a really good car. Oh yes, but the problem is that I have managed to make settings where both the CPU and the GPU run full power in DCS, but here in FS I can only have them run about 30-40% of their possible. Why is that? Yes, yeah, that is a good question.
Where's this base chop six? Because I'm going to do a cap approach on it. I've got to uh, go above it. If you look in front of you, it's underneath your stick now. So that kind of trajectory. Why can I not see it? That's annoying me. Look at your synthetic vision. It should show up as oh. the only grey thing. Oh, I got it. I got it, baby. Man, I wish I had synthetic vision in real life. Wouldn't that be useful? <laughs> Binoculars. Yeah. But, like, it's like I, I are, though, or something. I'm just going to look at the sun, guys, because I'm enjoying the sun. Look, it's dipping. That's some good programming is what that is, boys. Oh, what a lovely little flight it's been. It's been a lovely flight. That could be 1,400 feet per minute deep punch should be good. This thing has a massive range because I'm just not burning through fuel at all. I'm blasting at max most of the time. Fuel can go for like five hours. Yeah, I, when I was doing my, when I was doing my flights, starting my flight around the world, I was doing anywhere from a three to four hour flight and I would burn through probably about, eh, about almost 75 to 60% of my gas. Right. Looking for the airfield. Oh, here it is, you're right. Come and land with me, Ito. That's an order. Yep. Diving down from 14,000. Yep, I see it. It's announced to have a range of about 1,700 nautical miles. That's a lot. Which is about, I think about 300 miles further than the paper. Well, if you can go that far, does this plane have a toilet? No. So what the hell do you do? But you can get the secret, can't you? For that? Or is that the... No, uh, uh, yeah. Oh Making my dive in now. F-16 approach, super cap, on speed! Landing gear. Landing. And you my butt butt. Are you aware that you can experience frozen fjords in Norway where you can actually land? Oh, that's cool. In the game or in real life? In the game. How about I that? Did it the other day, I took the water plane and saw that I would land on water in the bottom of one of the fjords, but then there was ice. I said, okay, put out the wheels and see if we can land. Yes, we could. Oh, that is good programming, boys. It is indeed. I feel like mistakes have already been made. What do you mean? I'm a professional DCS pilot. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> if I had my, if I had my revert, if I had my actual reverse bound for the prop, for reverse pitch, I would have gladly dived down for that. But sounds like excuses, Ito. Sounds like balls not quite big enough. I may be wrong. Hey, yeah, maybe I'm enough. wrong, but that's just what it sounds like to the average viewer. There's an island you need to try and land a 747 on here, Ooh. just for the, uh, just for the, uh, the, the shits and giggles. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, I've finally stalled it. I've finally stalled it, guys, but I've got a PE. I'm fine. I'm fine. Man, they'd be like, who's this amazing sexy pilot up here who's breaking all the rules and getting all the chicks? That's what they'd be like, or something like that, anyway. Okay, landing, 09 or 03, I can't read it, something like that. Five. That's what I said. Right, down we go. Look at that. Glider approach. Who needs an engine? Who needs an engine? And now I'm going to do a warbird landing. Look, float above the runway, float above the runway, float above the runway. Let it stall, let it stall, let it stall. And a three pointer coming up. A classic three pointer. Stop. Bing! And we're down. Oh, to a lovely, lovely, uh, uh, whatever that word is, sunset. Now, isn't it cool how when I'm up there, the sun's nowhere near the horizon, but now it's near the horizon. DCS does that as well. Does, Hashtag. Yeah. But it does look better here. I'm gonna, I'll give you that, boys. I'll give you that. Full reverse. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're gonna have a button bound for that. Well, for the reverse pitch. Oh, I didn't know you had that. I've got to go and test out the damage on the stuff. Let's go see what happens when we start. Oh, there's a guy up there. I wonder who that is. There's, a, there's another human up there. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I'm going to see what yeah. happens when you start hitting stuff because the valued viewers have to know this S. There is no damage model. Does it even uh, bounce off it just, it just says you crashed and then you can start all over again. Yeah. There's a guy there, look. Hey, dude. That's a follow me car. Yeah, look, it, at least it detected I hit something. Better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, go on, there must reverse thrust then, guys. Must be in the cockpit. Uh, it'll be beta, so you've got to move the throttle over. Oh, how about that? All that right. was amazing. Can't do it. That was good fun, guys. That was good fun. I know it's very different to what we used to, but I look forward to exploring the Caucasus, Syria, the channel we can't really... Do. The World War II ones we can't... Well, we'll do anyway. But, yeah, um, and the channel is good because we've updated the UK. So oh, that'll be good. Yes, yeah, so we'll do that. But that's the, that's the, that was the Persian Gulf done. Uh, not all of it, obviously, because it would take forever at 200 knots. Anything you guys want to add uh, before we sign off? I'm good. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see everyone later.